On South Linwood Avenue was described by police as deplorable and uninhabitable. Steve Mailing spoke with neighbors and police today about the case and the disturbing scenes of what was going on just next door. Well, Randy Brienne, if you spoke with the neighbors of those arrested, you'd think the home here on Evansville's South Side was just like any other. The situation, however, was anything but. We do want to warn you, you may find some of the details in this story to be disturbing. They're good people. They have always been nice. They have always been cool. I've always seen her take care of that baby. If you spoke to people living on South Linwood Avenue, they would tell you their neighbors were good people. That's because they had no reason to believe otherwise. They take good care of their kids. I'm always seeing them loading food in the house. But everything was not as it seemed. People can put up a front or maybe you just don't know them well enough or behind closed doors there's things going on. And there were. Police made their way out to the home on South Linwood for a medic run. The only reason why we even knew about it was because the dad woke up and the baby was covered in blood. And that's that was our first involvement. We should have been involved. Someone should have picked up the phone and called us prior to that. Inside of the home, police say were deplorable conditions. An affidavit cited feces on the floor, rats in the home and trash scattered about. That affidavit was for three people arrested in connection to the severe neglect of a six month old. Parents David and Angel Shawnabaum and Delana Thurman, Angel's sister. Did you hear how severe the injuries were to the six month old? No. Police believe that a rat mice bit the skin off of the fingers of the child. Oh my God. The child almost actually died, um, was rushed to Riley's children in Indy. Mm -mm -mm. I didn't know about the fingers. She told me that his face was disfigured. Yeah, they believe that he was bitten a little over 50 times. <laughs> Neighbor Teresa Favors didn't know how bad it was until we spoke with her. How does a child get bit over 50 times and nobody knows that the child is bit? Would you have ever suspected something like that to happen here? No. In the affidavit, police say the family was already under investigation by the Department of Child Services. The last home visit, September 9th. That was from a home-based therapy company called Maglinger Home Services. We reached out to the DCS to attempt to understand how the situation could have gone on for months. They told us they couldn't comment on the case. EPD Sergeant Anna Gray says it's one of the worst child neglect cases she's seen in her decades on the force. It's really hard to see that and it's really hard sometimes to just maintain composure and be professional. As for the accused, they face multiple charges of child neglect, a case so bad it nearly killed a baby who couldn't defend itself. Any forms of neglect, no, none shown, none of that. I, I've never seen it 50 times. Well, the other four children in the home have been placed in another home. We will be staying on top of this case as it continues to unfold and we'll update you each step of the way.